sick of seeing the same hair growth hacks over and over and over again and your hair's still not growing, then have a look at these ones instead. And today, I've got some hair growth hacks for you, but these ones are brand new. So I have made a lot of hair growth videos in my time and I will continue to make hair growth videos, but I feel like I talk about the things that work for me. So that means that I talk about some of the same things every now and then because those are the things that work for me. But I know that they don't work for everybody. Have you ever been in that situation where you watched a whole bunch of hair growth videos, you took notes, you tried your best to implement them, and then someone turns around and says, did you cut your hair? No, I didn't. I also feel like so many people on YouTube are just showing you the same hacks and the same tips. Like there's like no originality anymore. And I feel like if you are already trying these things and they're not working for you, then what's the point in seeing the same things over and over and over again? So I want to provide you with some new tips, some new methods, some new hacks for growing your hair. You know when you're falling asleep and you get really creative? That's when I came up with these tips for you guys. So I'm pretty sure they're 100% original. Obviously, correct me if I'm wrong. I hope you like these. Buckle up, let's learn how to grow your hair. So my tip number one, number one is a DIY, DIY vibrating head massager. Have you guys heard of a vibrating head massager before? I have one, I use it all the time. And what it does is it's like kind of like a brush, like with these little jelly pegs on it and it vibrates and through the vibrating action of the vibrating head massager it actually stimulates your scalp it makes your scalp tingle and that means that blood is coming to your scalp which brings nutrients because the nutrients is in the blood that's what's carrying the vitamins the nutrients the minerals everything that your hair needs to grow is in the blood so if you can stimulate your scalp through vibrating head massager that means that your hair is going to be encouraged to grow. Have you got 28 pounds for a vibrating head massager? You might do, but if you don't, because some people don't have 28 pounds to spend on a vibrating head massager, some people can't get shipping and whatnot. So you might need to DIY one. How do you DIY a vibrating head massager, Lana? Well, I don't know how this idea came to me. It was like sheer genius. Obviously I was struck by inspiration. The hair gods were like thing and they blessed me with this piece of information. Get your pen and paper ready because I'm about to save your hair's life. So I figured everybody's got a phone, right? You're probably watching this video on your phone right now. You've probably got your pinky finger holding it up. You've probably got three fingers behind it, like a little rest for the phone. How did I know that? I'm psychic. Everybody holds their phone like that. That's the only reason I know that. You can get an app. For iPhone, you can get this app called Vibrate. And for Android phones, you can get this app called Vibrate Plus. And if you install that, then it means that your phone can be like on constant vibrate. I had a look at the reviews and they said that it works, but it just means that you can't use other things on your phone. Like you can't come out of the app and use other things. You have to like stay on the app, which is fine because you're not really going to be using your phone. If you're like this, like you don't need your phone. You don't need to be on Snapchat while you're doing this. Like what, what are you gonna You're just gonna rub this over your scalp and give yourself a little head massage. And there you go, DIY head massager. And it was free. People usually use them for like back massages and stuff like that if they've had like a sports injury or something like that. So that's tip number one for you. Number two is hair growth tea you yeah you heard that right hair growth tea i actually discovered this in my emails like i had like a newsletter because obviously i signed up and thought like something to do with that was interesting so it sent me a newsletter and i saw it and i was like damn because i love tea and i love hair growth so i was like let me try this out and actually it's really good so i usually drink about four cups of tea a day like green tea so i thought it's going to be so easy to just switch up my usual tea just for this tea because with hair vitamins i always forget to take them like this is gonna be really good for you like if you drink tea or you drink hot drinks it's gonna be so easy just to switch one tea bag for a hair growth tea tea bag instead like i've tried to consistently take hair growth vitamins and i just always forget like i'm like oh yeah let me make breakfast let me make lunch and like the pills could be literally right there and i will still forget to take them like i think it's part of like the whole like swallowing a pill thing as well like i subconsciously don't want to do it so I just always forget. Go and get yourself some hair growth tea. Like, it literally couldn't be easier. You guys, like, maybe you went out, maybe you spent a whole bunch of money on hair growth vitamins or something like that, and, like, maybe you're forgetting to take them regularly and you're just not seeing results, then just, just forget about that. Why my eye? Ugh. Just drink some lovely tea. Have a biscuit. Have the time of your life. Read a book. And 
your hair's gonna grow, it's gonna be amazing. Number three, this number three is in a similar vein to the last one because what this one is, is a hair growth smoothie. So it's another drink. A smoothie is a really great way to use spinach because lots of people don't like spinach. I personally like spinach, but if you don't like it, you can put it into a smoothie. And spinach contains a lot of iron. Iron is really great for helping us to transport blood around our body. Like we already said back in tip one, blood is what carries the nutrients around your body. It's what's gonna bring it to your scalp and it's what's gonna enable your hair to grow by bringing all of that nutrients to your scalp and you know, your scalp can then use it to produce hair. That's why spinach is actually really good for the rest of our body, but especially good for hair growth. You can pair that with some berries. Berries have lots of antioxidants. They're also very high in vitamin C. Vitamin C enables your body to absorb iron better. So by pairing berries with spinach, it's like really enabling your body to soak up as much iron as possible, which is gonna be really, really good for your hair growth. One of my favorite smoothies is to do berries like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, mix it with some spinach, and maybe a banana as well. Maybe we can chuck in something like some almond milk just to make the mixture a lot more smooth and liquidy and blitz all of that up. It tastes so nice. And I will also leave some smoothie recipes in the description box down below. All credit goes to these guys for the recipes. So number four. Number four is to literally wrap your hair in cling film for as long as possible like leave your hair overnight wrapped in cling film if you're gonna have like a bum day and not do anything all day then wrap your hair in cling film because what that is actually gonna do is going to enable all of the heat that rises off of your body because you know like as human beings as mammals we're warm-blooded and we radiate heat so if you wrap your hair in cling film all of that heat that comes off of your body will get trapped inside the cling film and all of that heat then on your head will encourage your hair to grow. I want to give a quick disclaimer on this point. I want to remind you guys to never ever ever under any circumstances put cling film over your mouth or nose. Never do that because there is a risk of suffocation if you do that. Keep it to your scalp, keep it to your hair, okay? That's how we stay Gucci. You only want to put it on your scalp, on your hair because the whole point of it is we're trying to grow our hair. We're not trying to grow our nose hair. We're not trying to grow our moustaches. So keep it away. Okay. Did you know that if you drink this while wearing this and also drinking this at the exact same time, all of the anti-hair growth demons are like, Skrrr! Number five. Number five is a split end hack. Because I know what I've always said in all of my hair growth videos is that it's best just to cut off all of the damage. So say if you've got damage back here, choo, choo, just get it all off. That's what I've always said. And I know that like, I get so many comments whenever I mention that and people say they don't wanna do it because then their hair's gonna be too short after that. So I have a little trick for you guys. And I'm not saying that I would do this because this goes against what I would do. But what you can do is you can take your hair and you can kind of spin it. If you spin it like this, so it gets really, really thin at the ends, then that will show up all of the split ends and you can just chop the split ends and you will still have the length of your hair. Your hair won't get any shorter, so you don't have to worry that your hair is gonna get shorter. You can just cut the split ends like that and that's just a quick hack because split ends will make it very hard for your hair to grow because they keep splitting, they keep breaking. So any progress that you're making up here, like any progress, new growth is not gonna show up because your hair is gonna keep breaking and splitting at the ends. So, you definitely want to get rid of your split ends and that's a really good way to do it in a way that you're not going to lose any length because you're only going to get rid of the split bits okay so you see what i'm doing i'm like twisting it and then you just cut the bits you know you know okay so number six is rice water and i've definitely spoken about rice water on my channel before so apologies this one is not like super original but i feel like people don't talk about it enough like basically you make rice water like it's literally what it it says it is. So you literally put the rice in the water and then you leave it to sit so that the water can soak up all of the goodness from the rice and then you take the rice out and then you're left with rice water and if you leave that to ferment then it gets really really strong, really potent and it gets really really good for your hair. It's full of amino acids, it's really good at strengthening your hair, smoothing out your hair, making it strong and shiny. So you just want to use that on your hair. You can soak your hair in it, you can use it as a pre-shampoo, you can use it as a deep conditioning treatment, you can leave it as like a leave-in rinse, you can do so many things with it. So that's rice water for you. I actually have a video on it, I'll leave it linked right up here. But I just think so many more people should be using rice water on their hair. So it just makes your hair super strong and that's literally what you need when you want to grow your hair. So check out rice water so it's basically a free step because you can still use the rice after you've done the taken the water away so it's a win-win everybody gets rice 
Number seven. Number seven is a peppermint oil scalp treatment. So what you wanna do is you wanna get some peppermint oil. You can get this probably at your local herbal store or you can get it maybe even at the body shop or you can definitely get it online. You can get it on Amazon. So many places will do peppermint oil for you. The thing with peppermint oil, like you guys know, like you know peppermint is very fresh and it's very like, it's tingly. Like if you were to put like say toothpaste on your scalp then it'd be tingly right if you guys remember from my previous points if your scalp is feeling tingly then that means that like the blood is rushing to your scalp and of course blood carries the nutrients and all the goodness to your scalp so peppermint oil is very good at doing that and also i've been using peppermint oil like on my edges because i was wearing wigs like towards the end of last year and like i feel like they kind of pulled on my hair back here because they had clips and they were really tight and they were pulling my hair so i feel like i lost some hair around the front of my head like i feel like i've got a little bit of a bald patch i've been using peppermint oil to grow my hair back the thing with peppermint oil is that it's very strong so you're going to need to dilute it with a carrier oil so good carrier oils that you can use with peppermint oil is like um almond oil or jojoba oil and those two if you pair them with peppermint oil you end up with a perfect combo that you can use on your scalp because if you just use peppermint oil by itself sometimes it's too harsh for people it can cause irritation it can be very very irritating so you want to like dilute it down with one of these gentler oils and just play with it a bit just see how much your hair can handle what feels good on the scalp and then you're good and there you go that's like a little hair growth treatment you apply it directly to your scalp and it encourages the hair to grow and it smells fresh it's literally peppermint oil it smells so good I mean, if it's good enough for Aaron Samuels, it's good enough for me. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs it up if you did. Also subscribe for more helpful videos from me. Join the summer family. Get me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Leave me a comment. Tell me which one of these you'll be trying. Also comment and tell me if you've seen these anywhere before, because if you have, then I've found my imagination twin and I just want to connect with them. Honestly, I just want to talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.